Oh wait, what am I supposed to say here? Hey, how's everyone doing? I am doing pretty good. I am very excited because I saw the Avengers trailer yesterday and I must have watched it three, four, five times. I watched it a whole bunch of times. A couple things kind of stood out in my mind. Um, one of the very first things that stood out when I saw it was um, that little scene where Iron Man and Captain America are having a little tiff and, you know, Iron Man and Captain America are just doing their thing. And I think that was really great because those of you who know the comics know that there's always been a bit of tension between them. I mean, obviously that came to fruition during the Civil War when they were at complete odds with each other and at each other's neck and someone is escaping me and it's always during these videos. I don't know what happens. Anyway, it's probably my League of Legends people that are just a big group conversation. They always seem to be uh, escaping. Yeah, so that, that, that tension, that conflict, I really liked that. I thought that was very cool. Um, I also really liked the costume Thor was wearing. He was wearing more of the traditional costume or kind of a, a more up-to-date version of the traditional costume, which I really liked because I definitely prefer that traditional costume. And I also liked the fact that Loki was in there doing his thing. You know how much I love Loki in it. And for a second there, you see him holding something that looks blue. So I'm assuming that he has possession of the Cosmic Cube and all the crazy destruction that is going to cause. So that's very cool. I'm very excited about Avengers and... Um, even someone I was talking to who doesn't really like superhero movies said that they're going to probably have to see Avengers, mostly because Whedon's directing it. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, speaking of Thor and traditional costume, I figured I had not done a t-shirt in such a long time. It's been months and months, probably before I started that series in the summer about favorite superheroes and villains, did I do a t-shirt. So here's a t-shirt for this week, and I got this when I was away on vacation. And speaking of Thor, there's Thor with his traditional costume, and the stars in the back are kind of cool as well. So that is my uh, t-shirt for today. It is a cool Thor t-shirt. Um, some of you who know me know that I've recently got a job that's going to have to do with board games. going to be working in like a board game store and that sort of thing. So I thought that the question I would leave you with today is uh, pretty plain, pretty simple. What is your favorite expansion to Settlers of Catan? For those of you who have never played Settlers of Catan, it's a game where you collect resources, you build buildings, uh, the map kind of fits all together, and each game is different because different games, some resources are scarce and some are like really plentiful and it switches. Uh, there's really three main expansions. There's Seafarers, Cities and Knights, and traders and barbarians. And just to give you a quick kind of thing, seafarers, you can actually create islands and explore the islands by sending ships there. Uh, traders and barbarians are a bunch of different little scenarios, all kind of that can add to the game. And cities and knights, there's like a barbarian horde that kind of comes in via ships, and you have to build knights to kind of protect your city, and if you don't, then your cities get destroyed, and then there's different resource cards than the traditional um, Settlers game. So yeah, let us know in the comment section. Um, you know, tweet it, Facebook, whatever you like to do, email, all those sort of things. Um, yeah, let us know which one is your favorite board uh, Settlers expansion. I, I will let you know sometime over the next couple of weeks. All right, well this is a very quick one tonight, so I guess I will say so say we all.